Hi everyone, and welcome to this premiere episode of Auto Irreverent. Thank you for tuning in, and here's the news. Mercedes introduced a new entry-level crossover. They've released quite a, quite a few technical details, but no price. And I'm still kind of confused on the entry-level part. Does this mean it's the cheapest Benz, or does it mean you can get a fully loaded Kia for about the same price? Well, it also appears that Detroit is playing a new rail system, just in case your car can't get out of Detroit fast enough. The Mini Countryman was caught testing. With every new mini, mini variation, I don't know if I should be worried or ecstatic. The problem is that they're not mini anymore. The Clubman is the size of a regular SUV. It's like Eddie Murphy making comedy movies. They're just not funny. Extra, extra, read all about it. The joke, I'm sorry, the juke. The juke are to be exact. We'll go into limited production. The funny thing is they're making it seem like they have a choice. It's kind of strange looking, isn't it? New Guinness World Record set in the toilet. Hit 46.6 miles an hour, and that's fast as sh**. Aston Martin's working on the soon-to-be-released 100th anniversary model. They should. I mean, they really should. They've spent 100 years making absolutely beautiful cars. It's a solid legacy of looking great, even when steam is pouring out of the hood on the side of the highway. <laughs> no one knows. Google wants automakers to build self-driving cars. Honestly, just ride the bus, or the train, or a taxi, or hire a chauffeur. And besides, didn't Toyota already try this and it didn't work too well? There's also all this gray area with insurance of who'd be responsible in the case of an accident, the person or the car. Here's the facts, it'd be your fault. You buy a self-driving car and it hits someone or it drives you off a cliff, it's still your fault. The car did it, but you shouldn't have bought the car in the first place. Uh, big news, Neil Armstrong's 1967 Corvette hit eBay, it's gonna sell for over $250,000. Am I the only one who thinks the actual lunar module wouldn't sell for that much? Well, I guess it didn't have 427 and now did it. Saab fanatics are raising money to buy the last Saab 93 for a museum. I mean, come on guys, the whole club won't commit enough money to buy one. Is it any mystery why the rest of the world wouldn't? In other news, the last 3,000 Oldsmobiles, Pontiacs, Hummers, and Saturns are still available in case you want to rally for that cause. The Kia K9 launches in Korea. In America, it'll be simply called Man's Best Friend. If you live in Florida and you have a million dollars, there's a bank that will give you a free Mercedes-Benz. The only problem is they're only open the same time Matlock is on. A man is suing BMW's motorcycle division for giving him a 20-month erection. In related news, BMW's cars have never caused anything like this to happen. And by the look at their latest concept cars, they probably never will. The Atlantic has just announced that Americans are so fat, it's actually costing us $4 billion a year in fuel costs. See, that's how you make a fat joke in 2012, with statistics. No one ever said you had to be politically correct, it just costs more money now. Hey, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, uh, uh, read our blog, because we're awesome writers, and, and make sure you check out autoshepherd.com where we have really cheap car parts. And that's all for this week. We look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.